Ciao a tutti, Marcello here. There's a little bit of everything here, from epic space battles to traditional dungeon crawls to magical space princesses. Be sure to wishlist and follow any game that interests you so that the devs know people are exciting for their games and tell us which games you most want to play below. Let's go! Indie developer Imagine Reality is coming in hot with an ambitious game that asks what if Total War meets Stellaris? With turn-based empire management interspersed with real-time fleet battles, Stellar Sovereigns is set to provide an explosive answer to that question. Whether you prefer the trade and exploration elements of a Space 4X or want to send your ship out to conquer in your name, Stellar Sovereigns promises plenty to do as you build an empire all on your own. It's not a game we'll have to wait for either, it's expected to release in the next few months if you can't wait, an early access version is available on each I.O. The original Once Upon a Dungeon blended old school fantasy exploration with roguelike gameplay and the upcoming sequel promises more monsters and more ways to defeat them. As it turns out, your hero didn't completely vanquish evil the last time, so now it's back into the dungeon to finish the job once and for all. This loot-centric hack and slash feels a bit like an indie turn-based Diablo, it enters early access later this year and a free demo is currently available to play. Plus, there's always the first game if you haven't played it yet. The X-Base Mecha Battle boasts an intriguing plot. With the destruction of the Sun in 1980, the Soviet Union desperately sends experimental ships into space in search for a new home. The player commands one of these ships using repurposed weapons to equip mechs and explore new planets. Like any good mech game, loadout is everything. Swap parts and weapons to improve and specialize your volots and defeat any who stand in your way. The game also hints that there is a traitor on the ship as well, we'll have to find out when volot enters early access. For a brief period it seems like auto battlers were going to be the next huge wave in competitive gaming. While they haven't completely turned the industry around the way they seem poised to back in 2019 or so, they're still great fun. Spirit Interlude adds an extra layer by requiring players to divide their team between attack and defense each round. Boeing Boeing Games seems to intend that their first title be a relaxing single player experience so don't expect to be climbing leaderboards with this one. What you can expect though are some lovely environments and satisfying gameplay. We look forward to trying Spirit Interlude when it launches later this year. Garden Minds brings the small map tactical gameplay of Into the Bridge into a traditional fantasy setting. Players command a squad of dwarves seeking to reclaim their minds from the monsters that lurk in the depth. Each map is a single screen battle but there are environmental effects and challenges to overcome in each pixelated skirmish. 
If you like games that are simple to learn but challenging to master, Forgotten Minds will be a great choice. Try the demo for free and be ready when developer Cannibal Goes debut title gets a release date. They have sent their link to physical reality. Where they could control Early access title Voina takes noble approach to its story campaign, leading the forces of powerful AIs in the virtual holy wars. You'll progress through the story by battling other players. While PvP isn't for everyone, Voina has an original world that looks promising to explore, regardless. While it's not complete, an early access version of Voina is playable right now. The best way to understand the game is to give it a try. This could be the kind of title that develops a cult following when it's finished. Carnival of Gods is a turn-based tactical dungeon crawler with lots of replayability and, from the looks of it, some dangerous bosses. Each time you start a new game, a random world will be generated, from there you'll race to stop the return of the Tyrant God. All in a day's work, right? <laughs> Infinite World Studios brought Carnival of Gods, their first game, to early access in November and they hope to launch the full version by the end of 2023. If you're looking for indie fantasy adventure, look no further. A treat for sci-fi fans, Miramar looks to be a mashup of Aliens and Dagger's Dungeon. With a squad of marines and whatever equipment they can carry, you'll investigate the disappearance of a space colony. Considering most of the screenshots include battle scenes against giant acid spitting bugs, or our guess is that the mission doesn't go well. If you're into roguelike RPGs, you'll probably want to check out Miramar when it launches. Appropriately, it's currently scheduled to release on Halloween 2023. Lunar Lux is a promising new JRPG from Cosmic Nobop Games. Its art style is a throwback to classic games in the genre, but the modern UI and detailed character illustrations keep the game firmly in the 21st century. This is a game with serious art, and the demo leaves us eager for the full game. Lunar Lux is listed as coming soon, so hopefully we'll see it later this year. In the meantime, be sure to try the free demo. Roguelike dungeon crawlers can be grim affairs, players control a band of rough around the edges heroes more than likely leading them to the ignoble deaths. The land beneath us takes a different approach, putting players in control of a robot inbred with godly power. Of 
cause the enemies are similarly powered up, but even if you fail a run you'll still get to pull off lots of cool moves on the way. Developer Fairplay Studios clearly had the idea that games should be fun at the core of their philosophy when designing the land beneath us. It's silly, irreverent and above all challenging. There's no word yet on when it is expected to release, but we're willing to wait. This video ends here, let me know what you think about these games in the comments below. And remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting me for all my ventures. Wish you the best, ciao!